Hi, I'm Tony Cook and welcome to Sky Observing from my noisy front yard in Pasadena, California. The purpose of this video is to get the word out about a possible event at the end of the month, a meteor storm called the 73 Pids that's expected on the night of May 30th to the early morning of May 31st. The shower gets its name from a broken comet called 73P. This comet was discovered in 1930 by astronomers Arnold Schwachmann and Arno Wachmann. It was their third co-discovery and it got the name Schwachmann Wachmann III. Now fortunately for us, it also was the 73rd periodic comet found, meaning a comet that we know how often it, it returns and we've, we've seen it return. Schwachmann Wachmann III returns every 5.6 years and it therefore has the catalog number 73P, the 73rd known periodic comet. So we usually refer to it as 73P because that's a lot easier to say than Schwachmann Wachmann III. Well, 73P is normally a pretty uh, dim comet. It, it requires a telescope to see. But that changed in 1995 when uh, both amateur and professional astronomers noticed that 73P had broken up into a lot of pieces. Uh, NASA telescopes watched the breakups occur in 1995 and again in 2006. In 2005, astronomers calculated that the pieces of the 1995 breakup could pass very close to the Earth at the end of May 2022. At five hours universal time on May 31st, which is uh, 10 p.m. Pacific time on the West Coast and 1 a.m. on the 31st on the East Coast. Now the other thing you have to keep in mind is, is it dark where you are? Fortunately, most of North America is, is dark at that time. The exceptions being uh, the Northwest part of the U.S and unfortunately Canada is in twilight. However, conditions are ideal across everywhere from the southwest to the central part of the country and onto the east coast. Mexico, Central America, and South America all have great conditions. If this meteor shower occurs, you'll want to be looking uh, high overhead. The radiant point of the meteor shower is near the bright star Arcturus, a bright orange star, which we find by uh, following the arc of the Big Dipper's handle. But finding that isn't really that important. That's just the direction the meteors will seem to be coming from. If they occur, they'll be all over the sky. The numbers of meteors, if a shower occurs, could be up to 140,000 per hour. And that's because it's a fresh breakup, you know, astronomically speaking. And um, so uh, there could be a lot of meteors visible. That's way too many to count, actually, but it's such a dazzling sight, you wouldn't want to miss it. On the West Coast, I'd recommend keeping a watch from 9.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Mountain Time, that would be 10.30 uh, to 11.30 p.m. Central Time, from 11.30 to 12.30 a.m. And on the East Coast, on uh, after midnight from uh, 12.30 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. on the 31st. The 30th is Memorial Day in the U.S. and the moon is new, so uh, no interference from it. Uh, to watch, you could do anything just from poke your head out the door for an hour and watch it, or get more comfortable and lie on a chaise lounge and look high overhead. Uh, don't look at any bright lights so your eyes can adapt to the dark. Now, if you go through the trouble of watching it, you might also want to turn your observation into a valuable scientific observation. And that's real easy to do. It mainly has to do with just recording what time you watch and when you stop watching and uh, what happens during that time. You can get on instructions on doing a scientific observation from the American Meteor Society or the International Meteor Organization, which both have great uh, websites and instructions on how to watch and then how to report what you see. So you get credited for uh, adding to our knowledge of uh, meteors and astronomy. I hope you'll watch. Uh, I'll be posting a couple more videos with background on this meteor shower and eventually other astronomical uh, events as they occur. 
So if you like this, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And uh, whatever happens, I wish you clear skies and great observing.